Lasers are devices that pose an increased risk. Although there are, there are several risk factors associated with laser installations, laser safety refers to means of protection against factors directly related to laser radiation. Even the most low-power lasers a few milliwatts can be hazardous to the eye. When a laser beam hits, it focuses to a very small spot, which in a split second may result in retina burns, partial or total irreversible loss of vision. Even scattered radiation of high power lasers can cause eye damage. Direct and in some cases scattered radiation of such laser can cause skin burns and presents FI hazards. There are several classifications of lasers by hazard type, the most common of which is the international classification. Very close to ours, but slightly more convenient. Class 1 includes all lasers and laser symptom systems of very low power, unable to create radiation level dangerous to the human eye that do not pose any danger, even in long-term direct observation by the eye. In many countries, Class 1 also includes more powerful laser devices with reliable protection against the beam leaving the housing. Class 2 includes low-power visible lasers that can cause damage to the human eye if a person looks directly at the laser for a long period of time. These lasers should not be used at the level of the head. Class 2 typically includes visible lasers up to 1 milliwatt. It should not be, should be not noted that lasers with invisible radiation cannot be classified as class 2 lasers. Class 3 lasers are divided into two subclasses. Class 3A includes lasers and laser systems with visible radiation which usually are not dangerous. If you look at the laser with the naked eye during a short period only, usually at the expense of the eye blink reflex, and can be dangerous if you look at them through optical instruments, binoculars, or a telescope. They are usually limited to a capacity of 5 milliwatts. And Class B, 3B, encompasses lasers and laser systems that pose a risk if you look directly at the laser. The same applies to the specular reflection of the laser beam. The laser rates as Class 3B if its power is more than 5 milliwatts. It approximately corresponds to Class 3 in Russia. The most dangerous lasers belong to Class 4. These are high-power lasers and laser systems which can cause severe damage to the human eye through short pulses less than 0 0.25 seconds of the direct laser beam as well as specular or diffuse reflection. Lasers and laser systems of this class are capable of causing significant damage to human skin as well as having adverse effects on flammable and combustible materials. Requirements for the design and specification, rules for safe operation and methods of protection against laser radiation in the Russian Federation are regulated by San Pin 5804-91. Administrative liability is provided for breaking San Pin rules for laser operation or for the sale of products that do not meet the requirements of this document. In the event that a violation of the rules for handling lasers has led to personal injury, criminal liability is provided. Laser hazard can be defined without any special equipment. Super powerful laser pointers, handmade red lasers from CD, DVD, or any laser which has a beam clear visible from this side usually refer to class 3B. Any laser that can burn something always refers to a class not lower than 3B. If a laser is invisible, it cannot refer to class 2 or 3A. It's most likely that it refers to class 3B. If a visible laser has a capacity of 1 to 5 milliwatt, it refers to class 3A. A CO2 laser is always a class 4. And of course, there are very 
a few simple rules that can help avoid unpleasant situations and preserve the health of both you and others. Always make sure that the beam does not go out of the window, because you never know where to it will get in the end and what the consequences will be. Never point any laser, even a low power one, towards people, animals and vehicles, especially aviation. Wear protective goggles and hand out protective goggles to anyone who you want to demonstrate your laser installation to. Keep in mind that welding goggles, sunglasses and handmade tinted glasses will not help. If there are no goggles, attach the laser firmly on the table and restrict the beam path with a non-shiny screen. It is best to send the beam into a light trap, a non-shiny tube rolled into a spiral. If you don't have goggles, do not put any random objects in the path of the beam, as the reflection can hit the eye. Make a laser lock with a key switch as required by sand pin or keep the laser in a safe place. For example, a lockable drawer. This will help against children and curious visitors. It's extremely dangerous if a powerful laser pointer turns out in the hands of a person who does not understand its danger. And if a laser is designed as a pointer, or a flashlight, make a switch which must always be kept pressed. This will ensure that the laser is turned off immediately if a person suddenly drops it. 